Hello everyone, my name is David. Thanks for joining me and watching this video today. Uh, anybody who hasn't subscribed to my channel already, I'd really appreciate it if you consider doing that. Subscribe down below, uh, vote on this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And any comments and questions you have, sharing your stories, I really appreciate that. Uh, at least half of these videos, the quality of it is down in the comment section. Your guys just share uh, the stories that you share, the questions you ask, and the answers you guys have is really awesome. Um, so please keep it coming. Thank you. So, narcissist in therapy. A couple different aspects I want to touch on. Okay, here I'm going to read the question first. This is brought on by a viewer and supporter of the channel. Hi, Emily Taylor in Latvia. And Emily says, these videos are really helpful. Could you please kindly make a video, if you can, about narcissist in therapy or narcissist in therapy? Thank you. Yes, I can. Thank you for asking, Emily. And any of you who have questions for me, um, I have uh, several hundred videos, I think eight to nine hundred. And sometimes I may not get to your questions. You may ask a question on an old video I may not see or get to. But I will answer everyone's questions no matter what in my weekly question and answer videos I do every Monday. So any questions you have, you can go on the latest question and answer video from last Monday, ask me, and I'll answer it in the very next uh, Q&A video the following Monday. Thank you. So Emily wants to know about narcissist and therapy. And like I said, there's a couple different aspects I want to touch on. First is there are narcissists that do seek therapy, believe it or not. Um, I found that hard to believe years ago and I heard that and I started learning about uh, narcissistic personality disorder. And I know a lot of you are actually surprised and thinking, well, that's hogwash, right? Or, or let's, let's just say they're going, actually going for themselves. They're actually going for help. Um, somehow, because the, the, having a personality disorder really comes down to lacking awareness that it's your problem. Self-reflection, introspection, self-awareness, very lacking. But they understand there's something wrong and they, they're blaming everyone, blaming everyone, blaming everyone, but they're never having what they actually need. They're not even aware of what they actually need. They have emotional needs just like we have emotional needs. And they don't, have, they don't meet anyone else's emotional needs and nobody meets theirs. So they have these very fruitless relationships, toxic, tumultuous, abusive, and they're not happy. They're extremely depressed, okay, from this. And so they seek help. Now, I'm going by my experience as just a life coach but about half my clientele are people in the mental health profession and they tell me these things. I also read about it. I also know several therapists that tell me their experiences with people that have personality disorders and also narcissistic personality disorders. So um, they, there are some that seek help. And I want to say, you know, there's a big debate about whether they can change. I don't feel I'm qualified because I'm not a mental health profession to really say that they can or can't, and therefore my opinion is kind of meaningless. What I will say is I think just about anybody who wants to can better themselves somehow. Now, narcissistic personality disorder is a very, very distinct criteria for that. And it's five out of nine personality traits they must have to have to be diagnosed with a disorder. Can they change these things? There are mental health professionals that claim yes, very much so. I believe to do this, they must learn how to be vulnerable, almost defenseless. And I don't, but here's the important part with narcissistic personality disorders, they lack empathy. They don't have it. They don't have the capacity. And I don't believe that's something you can teach or learn, okay? So empathy, without going very far into it at all, the ability to understand someone's emotions, to almost feel them. There's different kinds of empathy, okay? They lack this, and this is a very measured part in their brain. I've done many videos about this, about their brain, and they can measure and say they don't have empathy. I don't know how you change that. But the therapists that I talk to and read from who claim that they can change, and there's even some therapists on YouTube that say that they can change, and I can't argue with them. I don't even know. But I, you can't make them or have empathy. Now, can they begin to learn how their actions may affect others? Maybe. The problem with this and the problem with me saying this and all this stuff is I don't want to take any hope away from someone who has narcissistic personality disorder, and I doubt they watch my videos. 
But I do want to take hope away from the victims. All of it. Every single bit of hope. This. That us victims have. That the people that we care for and love will change. Stop that. Now. We accept people for who they are today. And we don't accept these behaviors in our life. Forever. Okay? That's my opinion. That's my stance. I think everybody is capable of bettering themselves somehow. I don't think that narcissists can form real empathy. They may learn how their behaviors affect others and learn how to stop doing that and be a little more vulnerable. I'll, I'll give the therapists on that stance that. And, and I would give all narcissists hope that they can change. Go try, please try your hardest, your damnedest. But the victims, we've had enough. Enough is enough. There are 7 billion people on this planet. Don't go tell me that I want to do it because I love this person so much who doesn't know who the hell they are, who has manipulated you, exploited you, and abused you, that they're going to change. Screw that. Okay? That's enough of that. <laughs> now, <clears throat> the last part I want to talk about. What are narcissists like in therapy? And now I'm going to, I'm going to stray away from actual narcissists who want actual help, who actually want to change. I don't know how many that is. It can't be a good portion because that's a lot of criteria right there. I'm talking about narcissists who go to therapy otherwise. Narcissists will seek therapy for two different reasons. Unless the ones that supposedly want to change and all that. Narcissists will seek therapy for two reasons. They'll either go alone to validate their bullshit and manipulate the therapist or they go to make somebody else happy. They're codependent. They need you. They need whoever is supplying whatever they need. They need you. So they're willing to fake it till they make it the bullshit. They're willing to go to a therapist to manipulate the therapist and to help manipulate you some more. So what is the typical, you know, think thought patterns and behaviors of the narcissist, right? It's never me. I'm perfect. It's all your fault. I'm going to show you how you're crazy. And they go to a therapist and they're sometimes extremely successful at this. I've heard it multiple, multiple, lots of times where they go to couples counseling, marriage counseling, stuff like this. And it's never, it's never alone. That's the one thing that I find extremely interesting. Not never. I've heard of it. But here you have somebody who's abusing you, has a personality disorder in a relationship, and they both go to couples counseling. Who cares how many problems this person has? Because honestly, I've seen a lot of couples go to couple counseling when at least one of the people, part of the couple, needs so much damn help they shouldn't even be in a relationship. So I don't know how couples counseling is going to help that person with their problems that are totally involved in the relationship, if that makes sense. So they'll either go alone. I've had people, I believe, with narcissistic personality disorder come to me. I've had people borderline for sure come to me. And I'll just say this now. Any of you have a personality disorder, I can't help you. Please don't come to me. I'm not going to validate your BS and I'm not going to continue a relationship with a client for a very long time and take your money when I'm not helping you. And so if you've had a therapist tell you that you are, uh, you have, you're high. I love that. That's what borderlines will do. I've had a therapist tell me I'm high in, in traits in borderline. They never told me I had borderline. just said I'm high in traits. Well, that's good enough for me. I can't help you. So they'll go alone to validate their BS. To continue this, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me because I can't look at myself because it hurts too much and I'm not going to do it here and now. I'm just going to pretend I am and put up this fake facade. And if you believe it, by God, now I'm great. I'm perfect. I can go tell everyone that. I can go back to my girlfriend and tell them. But then the other one's going to make someone else happy. I don't care if that's a friend. They've gone for friends, for lovers, partners, family. Threat. Threat of loss. This relationship is over if you, we don't go get help. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to end this business. I'm going to take the kids in the house. I'm going to divorce you. All these things, okay? Or mommy is sick of her 28-year-old son living in the basement and not doing anything. I'm going to kick you out. Okay, I'll go to therapy. And it's BS. 
And really, they lack self-awareness so much, they not, some of them don't even know that that's, that's the plan. I know that sounds silly, sounds funny, but they're, they lack self-awareness. So they lack a lot of the things, a lot of the reasons they're doing things, meaning they, they lack what they want. They lack, they don't, they're not aware of the things they want. They're not aware of the things they need. They're not aware of their own feelings, their own values and opinions, not aware. So they might say, yeah, I'm going to go to therapy and they have no idea what it consists of. And I, I just have to go for an hour and talk, you know, I'm not going to tell them anything. I hope they don't find out, you know, that I mistreat this person. I hope they gang up on me and they'll say, oh, you're just going to gang up on me. And then you go make the appointment, you drive there, you pay for it, you, you know what I mean? The relationship already isn't 50-50. Now you're going to do everything to help them. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. These are problems that we don't fix together. These are problems that a person fix for themselves. And not by themselves. They need help. But family and friends, us, we can't help people with personality disorders. And I'll make that very clear. We can't. I can't, even if I could, which I can't, help a borderline not be borderline anymore, which I cannot, and I wouldn't try. I've tried unknowingly, it took a little while for me to know, but I can't help them and I can't help my family. Even if I could, I can't help my family. Therapists, the therapists that tell me they can uh, uh, heal narcissistic personality disorder, they can't do it for their family. So you can't. I can't, therapists can't, psychiatrists can't, psychologists can't help their personal loved ones, family and friends. You can't. Definitely. Okay. So they need to go get help. I would recommend that the relationship is te at least temporary o temporarily over, which means more than just the title. Okay. We're just friends now. We're friends with benefits and we still live together. We still see each other and talk and text all day. Well, then, then you're, then you can call it whatever you want it, you know, but separation talked in a week, couple weeks, a month, three months, a year. See how you are then. And that's you being the optimist, believing that they can change. And this one person in your life will after years of not changing, I'm sure. Because usually that's about what it takes. I, typically couples don't go to counseling within weeks. <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> we have to. Huh? Um, I hope I address the main aspects of narcissists seeking therapy, narcissists in therapy, narcissists and therapy. Uh, but please, if you guys have any more questions, ask me down there. I'll answer them, okay? And share your guys' stories. I know all of you have some kind of a story about this, about, yeah, they, they'd agree to go, but they never went. Oh, they would go, but they never did anything. They always accused me, things like this. Love to hear it, and I'm sorry. Let's learn from this, okay? Thank you, guys. Love yourself first, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.